Stan Hazen's chief of staff has released a statement after public pressure for him to be fired or for him to resign. If you don't know who we're talking about, his name is Roman Kabanak. This is the man that tweeted some time back that blacks are not liberals. He said, and I quote, if you want to be a liberal party, it cannot be black lad, end quote. And this was in response to Musima Mani's explanation in his new book on why he left the DA. This man, Roman Kabanak, has anti-constitutional views. He calls black people Bantu people, which was an apartheid reference to us as black people. And that, that word was weaponized by racists during the apartheid regime. He has previously questioned or denied the veracity of the Shabville massacre. So pressure has been mounting for John Steen Hazen to reconsider his decision to appoint this controversial podcaster as a chief of, chief of staff. This is what he said when he hosted Ronaldo Hoes on his podcast. Ronaldo Hoes is another DA member who is facing a DC over racist remarks that he made in the past. Listen to what Ronaldo, not Ronaldo, but uh, Roman Kabanak. Listen to what he said about the member of an LGBTQI plus community. I believe that the biggest and greatest band of all time is Queen. Best lead singer ever to exist, Freddie Mercury, without a doubt. Best song ever written, Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, I don't know if you agree. Yeah, I think I think other songs are better. Like the show must go on is probably better. I mean, I would like Queen. The only problem is, you know, he's gay. <laughs> he was gay, <laughs> and he died because of it. So yeah. Did you watch Bohemian Rhapsody? Rhapsody? Did you watch Bohemian Rhapsody? Rhapsody? And he died because of it. And yet, John Steen Hazen has defended his appointment and still thinks Kabanak is the right man to be his chief of staff and get paid over a million rand in taxpayers' money. So they're now feeling the pressure. The podcaster released a statement yesterday. Uh, let me read uh, some of what he said in the, in the statement. He says, Dear South Africans, dear fellow South Africans, in recent weeks, there has been a heated debate regarding my appointment as Chief of Staff to the Minister of Agriculture on the 1st of September. I briefly addressed this on my X page, stating that I accepted the role to contribute to our nation's growth and food security and economic stability, and I want to work with anyone who shares these goals. However, I realize that more needs to be said. I acknowledge that some of my past online statements were simplistic and controversial, leading to strong reactions. I understand and respect the concerns which have been raised, especially considering my new non-partisan role, but I remain committed to building a better South Africa for all. Um, and then paragraph 4 says, in, tw in 2024, both our country and I changed. Um, it dawned on me that my approach had, been, had not been constructive. Judging books by covers is how many online conversations go, and I realized that it is better to help read or write the book than to critique its title. The political landscape shifted, and I acknowledge that it was my first real opportunity to contribute to government affairs in South Africa. I ask those South Africans who are against me to reconsider their judgment of me or to at least afford me the chance to do the job and to evaluate me after it is done, just as they have with others who have faced public scrutiny or even criminal convictions but are working towards the greater good for the sake of the government of national unity. I'm committed to working with anyone who shares the goal of, of a prosperous United South Africa. Together, we can ensure food security, create jobs, and build a thriving economy. Uh, that's Robin, Roman Kabanak. That's the statement. I'm sorry, I don't buy it. He's not even apologizing for, to the people that he's offended because he does acknowledge that some of the comments he's made were actually quite simplistic and controversial. So if you acknowledge that you actually were judging things by covers and you were saying ridiculous things, why are you not apologizing for the offense? Yeah? There is no apology in the statement. Nowhere does it say, I apologize to the offense towards the LGBTQI plus community or to those who were offended by what I said about black people. And look, he doesn't have to apologize. If he truly stands by what he said, that's fine. Then he must defend it. 
But if he's going to come and admit that there was something wrong with what I said in the past, why are you not apologizing? He doesn't want to come on the show. I mean, probably his boss would fire him if he dare came to do an interview with me. I don't know, but I'm not going to stop asking the producers to ask him for an interview. But I'm sorry, I don't want my taxpayers' money to go to someone who is unrepentant. I don't want that. And yes, I don't have control over it. I don't have power to get him fired. All I can do is express that I'm unhappy and I've got every right to do that because I pay tax. Part of that tax goes into paying him. A man that is unrepentant. A man who doesn't see anything wrong with using an apartheid reference. A man who says the things he says about me and my people as a black person. I'm sorry, I don't want my taxpayers' money to pay for his salary. Over one point, how much? Is it 1.2, 1.5 million rand? And you have every right as well to express if you are happy with him occupying such a critical, well-paying position. That's also fine. You have got every right to believe so. I just think if he says that he realizes that what he's said in the past is wrong and has offended people, then he must apologize for that. And he must mean it. And he must show us what he will do to be a better South African who respects and embraces the diversity of this country. All the people in this country, black and white. Then sure, if he does that, I would give him another chance because I do think all of us deserve another chance. But that's not what we're dealing with here. Let me know your thoughts.